as sure as night follows day, PES 13 was always to follow PES 12. With PES 12 finishing only mid-table last year, Konami is going to have their work cut out if they're going to catch those FIFA boys. Well, there's some big changes to gameplay this time around. To get the lowdown, we shot across to Konami's dugout. Hi there, my name's John Murphy, I'm PES team leader. Today we're going to look at PES full control. That covers areas such as um, manual passing, manual shooting, and the level of uh, freedom that PES now offers you as a player. So let's take a look. Over the last few years, we've been toying around with the concept of, of fully manual passing, and this year we've taken it to the ultimate conclusion, really. So you can now lay off very short balls, or you can overhit balls, and you can play uh, passes into literally into any direction, including completely missing your target. It means that the, the player's skill really is key to, to winning matches. You also have full control over lofted balls, not just balls along the ground. And from these examples, you can also see that we've added the ability to move the second player away from the ball in one, two sit situations in any direction that you choose. Again, giving you a level of uh, freedom over, over the passing system that you've not had before. We've actually added a level of first touch that we've never had in, before, uh, had in the game before, which when the ball first comes to you gives you a great deal of freedom about how you choose to then move on that ball. So you're getting the ability to uh, link your play right from the, the time that you first receive the ball, giving you options immediately to increase the level of freedom that you have over, over the control of the game. This is the ability to trap a ball dead when you first get it, or move it on, as we see here, with, with a sweeping move, or touch it on and into any direction, really giving you total freedom as to, to how you deal with that ball and how you move the ball on. Here you're seeing the ability to add a flick to the first touch, and that means that you can flick the ball on, uh, choose to volley, or choose to play it on off, off another body part, or choose to add another trick. And again, it's a way of you having really full control over how you move the ball on as soon as you get it. Um, shooting in the game has been dramatically improved, but we've also added full manual uh, control over shooting. That it's not just where you choose to place the ball, but how much power that you choose to put on it over the ball as well. You can also see that we've added that full control to chip shots, to control shots, and here to knuckle shots from uh, longer range as well. The idea of the system is that it should be really quite difficult to learn. Once mastered, you know, you're going to have a far higher chance of scoring. I think also uh, you're going to get much more satisfaction out of the experience as well. So if we move on to full control uh, de over deft touch dribbling, you can see that we've added the uh, sole of the boot to move the ball around. The, the dribbling is more tightly controlled by the player this year. You can see there that in tight situations, the ball isn't going to be pinging, pinging off, off pitch. Um, also gives the ability for more skillful players like Iniesta to make use of of deft touch dribbling to go past a player or indeed to hold up the ball, rather than relying on a speed merchant to beat your man. To counteract what we've, get, what we've done with the attacking side of the game, we've added response defending. Um, the last couple of years, there was a feeling that you didn't have direct enough control over exactly when you went in for a ball. You do have that now, it's very precise. You also have the ability to go for the man rather than the ball if you so choose to try and 
break up play. You also have control over the distance when you're um, when you're holding up the ball as well. And you can see there some of the risks involved in the new defending system. So we've had a look at there at the, some of the key features of PES 2013. Obviously, there's a lot more to come, so stay tuned for those.